Today we're looking at the Wavelink AX3000 Wi-Fi 6 extender. Although I say extender, this has four operating modes. Let's have a look around the box. Given us information here, this is dual band AX3000. Speeds there for the 2.4 gigahertz and for the 5 gigahertz. Remember, these are theoretical speeds. Everything mesh, sport mesh function to extend your network. For that, I think you have to be using a Wavelink router or you could use another one of uh, the extenders. It has uh, four antennas. At the back of the box, we have some specifications listed here. So four different operation modes. And as always, if you want to know more about this or if you want to pick it up, I will leave a link in the description box below. If you find the video useful, please leave a like and please subscribe to watch more reviews. We get some paperwork, we get a quick start guide, we have a QR code there. Everything mesh setup guide. We get an Ethernet cable included. It doesn't say what rating it is, but my guess is it will be Cat 5E. Looking at the extender, we have four antennas which you can change the direction of to get better reception. WPS button. We have a light around there. So if you want to link this up using the WPS button, you would push the WPS button on your router and then within two minutes, push the WPS button on the extender and then it will pick up the information from your router. It will link up and it will bring the name up of the extender. You will have the 2.4 gigahertz and the five gigahertz and then you just put the password in of your router. The other way is through a web browser using your mobile phone or your computer. I'll be using my mobile phone and I'll link it up that way. I'll show you that as well. At the bottom we have the one LAN port. So if you're going to use this in access point mode, you will need to use an ethernet cable. One end of the ethernet cable would go into the extender and the other end would go into the back of your router. Nothing on this side. On this side, we have power on off and a reset pinhole. At the back, we have information. It does have good airflow. It has a three pin adapter for me because I'm in the UK. Some information here, default IP address is 192.168.10.1. And the login, it will take you to waplogin.link and password by default is admin. it in. We have a blue light at the bottom. The extender is blinking red now which means it's ready to pair. I hold the Wi-Fi button down. Wavelink 5G and Wavelink AX-C648 that's the 2.4 gigahertz so you could connect to it. Web page and it's WAP login, it's automatically taken as there. Let's configure. Go to country, EU, time. Mine would be London, next. Fix my Wi-Fi, it's come up there. Go next. So I need to enter the password. This password is for my router. Just put this in off camera. 2.4 gigahertz is given as the SSID name there for the five gigahertz. Wi-Fi password, just give it a few minutes. Fix my Wi-Fi dash EXT 2.4G. Let's click on this. My router has just informed me that a new device has joined the network. I just put the password in, connected to the extender. Now you could see the light on the extender has turned blue. I could also connect to the five gigahertz. Let's connect to that. 
I am also connected to the 5 gigahertz button now as well. Let's go back to Safari. Let's go to WAP login. Logged into the web page and it's giving us information repeater connected internet. First, set the extender up. You need to have it close to the router. Once it's set up, if you're going to use it in repeater mode, which is what I'm doing, you set it up halfway between the dead zone and your router. If you use this in access point mode, you'll need an ethernet cable. You plug one end of the ethernet cable to your router. Other end would go into the port of the extender. Then you could plug this in in the dead zone if you want because you're using an ethernet cable and it will give you better wi-fi that way i will be showing you a speed test one thing to bear in mind the extender will not give you the same speed as you get when you're next to your router the job of this is to get you wi-fi where you have poor wi-fi so you could like work from home or stream stuff we have some information here cpu usage memory usage Network, so the IP address my router has given it is 192.168.50.23. Fix my Wi Fi 2.4 G and fix my Wi Fi 5G. Signal strength 100 because I'm uh, not far from the router, the router is in the hallway and I'm in my living room. Some more information here. Let's click on these three dots at the top. We have wireless. So you could combine the bands if you want. Advanced, let's click on that. 2.4 gigahertz bandwidth 2040. So if you live in a crowded area, it's best to select 20 because the bigger the bandwidth, the more interference you will get. However, it limits your speed as well. That, that's another thing to bear in mind. This does support 160 megahertz as well on the five gigahertz band. You can select that, but do bear in mind, if you have a lot of neighbors using Wi-Fi, you will get interference. You may want to select 80 megahertz then, or even 40. You will get lower speeds, but you will get stable Wi-Fi. Five gigahertz bandwidth, 20, 80, 160. DFS. That's the DFS channels. So by default, Mu Mimo and OFDMA is off. That's for Wi-Fi 6. So if you're going to use this extender with a Wi-Fi 6 device, you, you should enable that. If you're going to use it with a Wi-Fi 5 device, you don't need to enable that. Advanced. It's got mode selection. So repeater mode. So this is taking Wi-Fi from our router and it's repeating it. AP mode, for that you will need to use an ethernet cable, mesh router, for that you will need to be using Wavelink's router and this will act as a mesh node or access point if you want to call it that. Mesh extender mode, you, you get another extender and you can use that extender as mesh mode with this extender. I'm leaving it in repeater mode. Time zone. Timing reboot, so you could reboot the extender once a week, it clear the memory if you want to do that, I'll leave it off at the moment. Reset, so you could reset it within the app as well. Admin password, device, so reboot it from here yourself if you want and you can log out. Okay, let's do a speed test. So I'm connected to the five gigahertz band. So here in the UK, I'm with EE, BT, same thing. I get 900 down and 110 up. That is not bad, not bad at all. And it's 10 past seven, which is peak time. And my family members are also online as well. That is really good for an extender. Three hundred and twenty six down and one hundred and ten up. You can't go wrong. So there you go. You've seen the speed test It's fantastic. Of course, when I move it further away, it will give me less speed, but the job of this is to repeat the signal the way I'm using it. If you want to know more about it, if you want to pick this up, I will leave a link in the description box below. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please leave a like and please subscribe to watch more reviews. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.